Hello, and welcome to today's Five and Five, where we look at five books from five different genres in five minutes. This month's theme is love. Everything from love gone wrong, self-love, and family love, to animal love. We hope you enjoy this month's selection. A Polar Affair, Antarctica's Forgotten Hero and the Secret Love Life of Penguins, is a nonfiction explorational story by Lloyd Spencer Davis, aka Professor Penguin. As a modern-day scientific adventurer, he reveals the long-suppressed manuscript of George Murray Levick, who studied penguins on Robert Falcon Scott's tragic Antarctic expedition in 1910, and he compares his observations to more recent findings in biology. Davis seamlessly combines history and science in this enthralling book about pioneering scientists and the sex lives of penguins. The book looks at previous findings made by Levick that had gotten expunged from the history records and the scientific community for being too shocking at the time. This book will appeal to the explorers at heart and zoologist enthusiasts alike. This is a well-researched and compelling book. If you enjoyed Shackleton by Michael Smith or Land of Wondrous Cold by Gillen Darcy Wood, then you will probably enjoy reading A Polar Affair. This book is available in regular print and e-book. I Miss You When I Blink is written by Emmy Award-winning co-host of A Word on Words, Mary Laura Philpott. Her collection of essays lightheartedly addresses the conflicting pressures of modern adulthood, revealing how periodic self-reinventions can offer necessary renewal and healthy perspectives. Her essays are funny, heartwarming, and reflect in nature. Philpott shares her struggles with depression despite an outwardly perfect life. She reflects on her need for perfection and comes to terms with her need for change in her life. She shares her experiences with a major illness, coping with friends who have kids, and dealing with unpleasant people in her life. Throughout, her tone is conversational and easy to read, but can occasionally come off as privileged. For those of us with type A personalities who have struggled with change and perfectionism, you'll find this collection of essays comforting and reassuring. If you liked Under the Tuscan Sun by Frances Mays, or These Precious Days by Anne Pratchett, then you will enjoy this collection of essays. I Miss You When I Blink is available in regular print, audiobook, ebook, and e audio formats. How to Be a Family The Year I Dragged My Kids Around the World to Find a New Way to Be Together by Dan Coy is a heartwarming and amusing memoir about family togetherness and finding happiness together. Dan Coy, a busy editor and podcaster, his wife, and their two preteen daughters decide to take a year off and travel the globe to find a way out of their busy, overscheduled rut of a life. Dan and his wife felt that they were doing family wrong, as the four of them lived their own lives pursuing their own happiness and never seemed to do life together. So they decided to change that and discover happiness with each other. This memoir is filled with witty, self-deprecating humor, as well as earnest, thoughtful soul-searching. If you enjoyed reading We Came, We Saw, We Left by Charles J. Whelan or Home Sweet Anywhere by Lynn Martin, then you'll probably enjoy How to Be a Family. This book is available in regular print and e-book formats. As Long as We Both Shall Live is a cat and mouse psychological detective thriller by Joanne Cheney. Matt and Marie have been happily married for 20 years when they go on a hiking trip to rekindle their romance. However, only one of them will come back from this wonderful weekend trip. Matt tells the park rangers that Marie fell off a cliff into the raging river below. They begin to search for her and soon realize that maybe there is more to the story than what Matt told them. Is Matt a grieving husband or a cold-blooded murderer? As facts come to light and the mysterious circumstances surrounding the death of Matt's first wife leaves a washed-up detective and his partner scrambling for answers. This story is intricately plotted, incredibly suspenseful, and will leave the readers on the edge of their seats. If you liked Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn or The Other Emily by Dean Koontz, then you are going to love this thriller. This story is available in regular print, audio, ebook, and e audio formats. The Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds is a young adult fantasy romance novel. 
What if you could go back in time and change just one event and bring back your loved one? Would you do it? Even if it meant major changes? Jack is a senior in high school when he meets and falls in love with his college freshman, Kate. Their love grows quickly and deeply. Unfortunately, Kate is very ill and dies. Jack finds himself transported back in time to the exact moment he meets her. Can he save her this time? Each time Kate dies, Jack is taken back to that exact moment and he tries again. But it's a careful balancing act as the major issues arise with each of his return trips. Can he find the perfect combination to have it all? This time loop coming of age novel will have you questioning life's greatest mysteries. This novel is culturally diverse, witty, and has great dialogue. It is very moving and discusses coping with death in a gentle manner. If you liked Again But Better by Christine Riccio or When We Were Magic by Sarah Gailey, then you will probably like this novel. This story is available in regular print, ebook, and e audio formats. Thank you for joining us today for Five and Five. We hope you enjoyed this month's love-themed books and find one that you will enjoy reading today. If you need any other help finding your next book, please call or stop by the library. We would love to help you.